Okay, this table is showing us annual calculus enrollments at some large university. Our goal on this is to pick out wherever we have local maxima or minima, as well as a global maximum and a global minimum. So let's jump right in. Looking at these enrollments, I'm going to just go ahead and say, do they increase or decrease in between years? All right, so initially 1257 goes up to 1324. We go up again to 1375, down, up, 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 down slightly, down some more, and then back up to finish up. All right, so as we compare these, if we change from increasing to decreasing, we're going to get a maximum. So in 2002, we get a maximum of 1378. All right, if we change from decreasing to increasing, like we do in 2003, we're going to call that a minimum. All right, so we get a local minimum of 1336. And the maxima or minima occur at the year, but the actual value is the y value here, the output value. All right, when we go from increasing to increasing, we don't get a maximum or minimum. But taking a look over here, I think it was supposed to be 2007. Um, we change from increasing to decreasing, so we're going to have a maximum there. And then in 2009, we change from decreasing to increasing, so we call that a minimum. All right, so we said maximum in 2007. Oops, maximum in 2007 of, we should be putting down 1582, the Y value, the enrollment. And then in 2009, we would say 1545 is going to be a minimum because we change from decreasing to increasing. Now the other values we should probably go ahead and include here are the endpoints, right? We don't have either a, a year prior to 2000, we don't know 1999's enrollment over here, and we don't know 2011's enrollment over on the right hand side. So we should probably go ahead and classify those as well, that in 2000, it's like a, the endpoint on a graph, right? If you're kind of connecting these together, it would be a lowest point on a graph. All right, so that's going to be a minimum of 1257. And then kind of a, the right end point on a graph over here on the right-hand side, a high mark of 1571, a local maxima. All right, now comparing these local maximas and minimas, we want to pick out the very, very highest and the very, very lowest. All right, so our global maximum is going to be the very highest enrollment. So the very highest enrollment looks to be 1,582 as I compare those three values over on the left-hand side. Now the very, very lowest enrollment appears to be 1,257. So remember, as you're answering these questions, if it changes increasing to decreasing, it's a maximum. If it goes from decreasing to increasing, you get a minimum. And also be aware of the endpoints, uh, that those can also be classified as maximums and minimums, as well as global maximums and minimums. Hope this helps.